These protests, we've just heard that some are quite small, but these can grow. And it's important for people to realize that times have changed, the winds of change are blowing and people want um, the subject of reparations to be dealt with. And that's very important for any royal tour. You can't close your eyes to what is happening in the world right now and what the Caribbean and also the diaspora are asking for. Calvin, what about you? I mean, it must be extremely uncomfortable history for a lot of people in the Caribbean when it comes to a question of should the royal family apologise for historic wrongs? Would that be appropriate? No, nobody... Practically nobody's asking for this. St. Lucia has a population of 190,000. There were 10 people at this protest. That's 0.005% of the population. It's not, it's not enough to say it's a minority. It's a super minority. What's, what we've actually seen here is that we've seen the royals, we've seen Prince Edward and Sophie uh, go to St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Antigua and Barbuda, and they've had a great time. We, we've seen some footage on GB News earlier. There's some video footage, but there's plenty of great photographs out there of them exploring the countries, talking to regular people, having a fantastic time and celebrating the jubilee of Her Majesty the Queen, 70 years on the throne. This is all great news. There, there is a tiny, tiny minority of people who are unhappy with this. These are Republicans. And that's fine. There should be room for that in a democracy. But if any country wants to explore the, the idea of becoming a republic, it must be a democratic process, unlike what we saw in Barbados, which was terrible. Now, Velma, Calvin, they're saying it's actually only a tiny minority of people who would like to seek the sort of constitutional change that perhaps these protesters would call for, where the Queen would no longer be, or whoever the monarch is, would no longer be the head of state. Is that how you read the room? Do you think it's only a tiny minority, or do you think that this no. is a movement gathering momentum? I think this is a movement. We must understand this is the international decade for people of African descent it ends in 2024. We are calling for reparations. Calvin may well say it's a small minority or whatever, and people and Sophie and Edward are having a fantastic time. We cannot silence the voices crying out for reparations. You might not see them. Calvin, whatever happens in the Caribbean, impacts on the community here. Unless you are a part of the community, unless you are sending reparations home to the smaller islands and Jamaica, you do not know what is really going on. People are asking for an apology from the royal family for their part in the atrocities committed under slavery, the dehumanization and racial subjugation of a people. You cannot silence it by PR photo opportunities. They're all Ca well and good. Calvin, I just, I just want to cut in here because we've got very little time left on this. Calvin, do you have a very quick response to that? Yeah, I mean, it's nonsense, isn't it? You can, you can say people want this, but it's all anecdotal. Dr. Velma has no evidence. The evidence we've suggested seems that not many people do want this. It's, uh, there are some people stuck in a victimhood mentality, and that's a shame, and we need to help them out of that. But the, in regards to reparations, who pays whom? It doesn't make any financial sense to, for uh, deprived um, black people in this country to be paying well-off people uh, black people in another country. The mass doesn't add up. You know, None of it makes any sense. It's time to move forward you know, and get beyond, get beyond all of this that identity politics and nonsense. People love Her Majesty the Queen. People love the royal family. People love being a part of the British Come Commonwealth of Nations. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.